Hi friends, I've got a beautiful looking book here for you today. It's called All God's Creatures by Bill Staines and it was illustrated by Kidar Nelson. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire, and some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got. Now, listen to the bass. It's the one in the bottom where the bullfrog croaks and the hippopotamus moans and groans, the big to-do. And the old cow just goes, moo! <laughs> the dog and the cat, they take up the middle while the honeybee hums and the cricket fiddles. I love it. The donkey brays and the pony neighs and the coyote howls. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire and some just clap their hands or paws or anything we got now. Listen to the top where the little birds sing and the melodies with the high notes ringing and the hoot owl hollers over everything and the jaybird disagrees. Singing in the nighttime, singing in the day, the little duck quacks and he's on his way. The possum ain't got much to say and the porcupine talks to himself. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire. And some just clap their hands and, or paws or anything they got now. It's simple song of living, sung everywhere by the ox and the fox and the grizzly bear and the old grumpy alligator and the hawk above and the sly raccoon and the turtle dove. Oh. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low. Some sing higher. Some sing out loud on a telephone wire. You see that? And some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. And that's beautiful. Oh, and there's a song that goes with it. Let's see. I was not singing it the right way. You might want to look it up. <laughs> There are the notes. What a beautiful, beautiful book. Check it out for yourself. Have a great day and keep reading.